This conference will now be recorded. So Dalid, 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 Part 4, Chapter 4, Shema and the Brachot, Paragraph 4. Vinei Kvar Be'arnu, we already explained the Chelek Rishon. Sha Shlemut Amiti Shal that any, per, the perfection of the creation, he he la, that only extends to it, we only attain that through mishleimuto yidbarach, from the shleimut, the perfection of Hashem. Ki hulavadar shleimut, Hashem alone is the one of shleimut. Bulam, gam zem itoldot ha-mitzvah zot. This also is a part of the effect of this mitzvah of Shema. Shebaha ideinu al yichudo, when we give our testimony, Shema Yisrael, Hashem Lekeinu Hashem Echad, Al Yichudo, on this oneness of Hashem, Uviyoto Tolimata Kolbo, and we say everything, Hashem Elokeinu Hashem Echad, everything is coming from Hashem, Gam Hu Yibrach Shemo Nidrash Lanu. There is this reciprocal move, and Hashem then avails Himself, uh, presents Himself to us. And the result is the entire creation reaches a greater degree of perfection through that connection to Hashem, who is the epitome of Shleimut, of perfection. And all that exists in their, in their true spiritual roots reach a greater degree of, of perfection, of, of tikkun. Because that is the the Metziah, the that is the essence of God, this Tikkun and this Shleimut, as we mentioned over there. In Paragraph Paragraph Hey, the Gahine Mitnaea Mitzvah Zot. One of the conditions of this Mitzvah, Liot Adam Gomer Bitato, that a person has this, this willingness, this this absolute readiness in his mind, limsar nafsho, to give up one's life, al yichudo yitvarach, for the sake of Hashem, for the sake of Hashem's yichud, unity. And to accept upon oneself all types of difficulties, mita, and even different types of death, al kidush shmo yitvarach, in order to sanctify the name of God. Be willing to give up, right? We say, v'chol nafshecha, v'chol nafshecha, afilu notel et nafshecha, even if it means giving up your life. V'nech shavlo ki ilo asa davar v'poal, and when we have that thought, when we're saying Shema, it's considered as if we've done that. Nech shavlo is considered ki ilo asa davar v'poal, as if the person actually has done that. V'nei rag, and person who's willing to give up his life, al kiddush Hashem, to sanctify God's name. The gami inyan zeh yotso toladog rolot, and this also gives these tremendous benefits, gains, l'toelat habria, for the good of the entire world, ule tikkun haklal, and for the tikkun, and for the, to, to correct the klal, this, the, the world at large. V'zeh. And this is Shemisidreachmalyona from the arrangements, the structure of this wisdom from above, Banivraim, that is found in those that have been created, Umitsiyu Yotehem, and 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 with all of our uh, aspects, what we find is Shiyimatsun in Saim Kulam Madrega Yidua. The all that which is created is on a certain level. What level is that? That which God decided is the proper starting point level. That he wants from this world. This starting level point. This is a level which gives the possibility for there to be this choshech, this darkness. Ulimatsei, Limatsei to be to exist, Vilatuma, and for impurity, Lid Pashet Vilifo, Lid Pashet to spread out and to have its effects. That's the right. starting point where we have this choice. There is this right. potential, this possibility. 
And our because job of Zunsi is to raise things up above this level. Amnam, Kozed Bishir Nuda, all this is at a very set amount. That the, the darkness, the impurity, will not have the ability, the power to completely overwhelm and defile the world. And to bring a tremendous state of, of, of degradation to the creations. Should it reach that point? We need to have another marble, another flood, and we need to have a reset button as we had over there. But God has not let it get to that point as he promised that that will not happen again. But at a level that it will not allow the world to reach its destruction. But there are aspects that are chol, mundane, below kodesh, and not holy. Chashuchim darkened, below bihirim, and not illuminated. Bihine, sidra shezot tiye madrigatam harishonit, ikarit. This is the start. This is the basic. This is the starting point. Amnam shebederek tosefet, but we can then add on timatsevam he'aram ula vashpaat yikar. But when we add on illumination and and precious uh, flow through our actions, yitaluba mina madrigash velazot, we can ascend above this lowly madrega. Viagia laburin in yan kodesh ubihirut, and we're able to attain a certain kodesh, a certain holiness, ubihirut and clarity. Masha roui shiagia lahem lefiola mazeh that which is proper, that which we are meant to do in this world. These matters are all measured. Through God's wisdom, everything within the boundaries of the effect that it can have. Not less, not more. Meaning, it was measured, determined, what is this base level? This also has many, many different levels and aspects. And that which will cause this tosefet, this increase in the clarity, in the purity. Also divided to different parts and levels and details. And also there were times that were set, that were determined. At those are times that are fitting, that are that are ready to accept this Tosefet. As we'll explain further on. That'll be the different days, the different holidays, the different special days. But besides those special days, each and every day, there needs to be this renewed influence and illumination amongst us to bring us up from that base level, base meaning starting point, and also base in terms of its level. Right? We need a daily dose of this kiddush, this holiness, and this bihirut, and this radiance, this illumination, this clarity. God, the, his wisdom established that this illumination, that which helps to push aside the darkness of this world and strengthens in us this level of Kedusha, and he made that all dependent on us.
Bemasei hatachtonim. That's all dependent upon the actions of us down here. Kishaar kolash pa'ot batikunim. Like all the other influences in tikunim that God gave it over into our hands. Va'amnam ha'maaser she'tluya bo. That which has this, uh, this tremendous influence on lifting up the world, that is a person recognizing that our life is just here to serve God and thereby having a willingness to even forfeit our life for the service of Hashem. The Gambazei Yish Goat. And this, of course, also has its levels. If a person is presented with that, and a person will actually give up his life, the famous story in the Gemara of Brachos, that Rabbi Akiva went against the Roman ruling that one is not allowed to, to-, to teach Torah publicly, and he went ahead and taught Torah publicly, and he gave the mashal, he gave the parable. You know, the fox says to the fish, come out of the water, you'll be safe with me. And the fish says, if when I'm swimming in my water, I'm in danger from you. If I leave my water, certainly I'll be in danger. So if when we're studying Torah, we're in danger from our enemies, our oppressors, certainly if we'll stop to learn Torah, we'll be in danger. And he ended up being caught. And they started to literally comb his flesh off of his body with these iron combs. And he started to, he called out, Shema Yisrael Hashem Lekein Hashem Echad. And his students said to him, Rebbe Ad Khan, even now you still have that strength? And he said, all my days I've been saying this. I've been waiting for the moment where I can actually give up my life for the sake of Hashem. So certainly when it's done, Bifoal, when it's done, actually, Yamshich Hera Gedolah Ma'od. That brings an incredible illumination. That will bring about a tremendous rectification in the world. And it will bring about a tremendous sanctification and clarification and clarifying and, ra- and radiance. Who one has the resolve, has the thought, has the readiness. To decide in one's heart, I'm ready to do that should the situation call for that, as we mentioned, that will also bring a certain degree of this type of hashpa. It won't be as in full power as a person who actually did, but it too brings this hashpa, this influence. The amount that daily dose that is needed, the amount that is needed on a daily basis, to bring anew, and to extend this, this holiness. It's enough to have that machshava, that thought, that readiness in mind, even though it doesn't come reach uh, actuali, doesn't actually happen, right? But to be ready for it, that suffices. And that is what is done when we say the Pasuk Shema Yisrael Hashem Elkeinu Hashem Echad by expressing our readiness even to give up our life in thought, right? Even though, thank well, the world that we live in, thankfully, is not one that pushes us to do that. But to be ready to do that, should that be the call, that is what brings about this daily ha'ara, this daily illumination, radiance that lifts up the world. And the result of this, hamshachat, hashba'at, hakidush, the flow of this influence of the holiness, and this clarity, this brightness, this radiance, vabriya kula to the entire creation. To give us a little bit of a rise, a lift up, from the mundaneness and the darkness, 
which is where we are when we're starting on this very, very base level. Rabbi, wow. I, I must say, you know, I have been, I decided to put the filling on maybe 18 years ago. And on a daily basis, except for the holidays and Shabbat, I put my tefillin on. And I can vow to you guys that every time I do, I get goosebumps until now, even today. When I put my tefillin on and I do the Shema on my own, you know, nobody's around. I get goosebumps. And I believe that that's what he's talking about. It's the connection. Uh, you know, yeah. and it's repeatedness. You know, it's just a short you miracle. And to the world, Uzi. Yeah, it, it, it is, um, for a man, it's such an experience. Women will never understand it because they don't have to do it. But, you know, I think that's what the, the, the rabbi is talking about, is the connection yeah. and the recognition. And who aren't who aren't obligated in the tefillin can have that very same connection without the tefillin when they say the Shema. I know, they don't need the tefillin. They can they have the connection tefillin. without. And mm -hmm. I know Robin does, and I do know that Dalit does too, by the way. Mm -hmm. I, I, I know it for a fact. Mm -hmm. But anyway, we, you, and I need the tefillin to have that connection. They don't. Yeah. <laughs> they have an That's advantage. Right. Apropos, I heard a great joke from my brother. I, I must tell you about it. Can I tell you about it? Sure, Uzi. So, so I'll tell you about my brother. He was going to measure how Uzi, many this words. This is recorded, so let's make sure it stays appropriate, okay? It is proper. It's proper. He was going to record, you know, he realized his wife is talking much more than he does. So he bought a machine on Amazon to measure how many words his wife talks per day versus how many words he does and for whole months he measured and he realized that the average number of words per day was 20,000 meanwhile he was talking only 10,000 words a day so he approached his wife and he says to her listen how is it possible you talk 20,000 words a day and I only talk 10,000 words a day half the words you talk so she obviously said to him listen every time I tell you to do something, I have to repeat it twice. <laughs> so he goes, what? She says, every time I have to tell you something, I have to repeat it twice. Very good. <laughs> I love Very that joke. Let's do one, let's do one, an uh, uh, paragraph six. Nimsa, the result is, Klal Inyan Pasuk Rishon Shol Shmahu, so when we summarize all that which is contained and that which we are accepting upon ourselves, when we say this first Pasuk of Shema, it is Ha'idut, testimony, Vahoda'a, and our acknowledgement, Biyichudo Yiparach, of God's oneness, unity, uniqueness, Bechol Abchonatav, in all of his aspects, Kabbalat Ol Malchuto, accepting the yoke the responsibility of god's kingdom and and coronating him making appointing him recognizing him as the king i'll call all that which is created and this readiness in our hearts in our minds to be willing to give up our lives to sanctify his name. Vitoldot calls it, and the result of this, right? The the reflection that comes back. Is that God strengthens the rule of his oneness over the entire creation. And therefore, as a result, there is this, this um this humbling and this submitting of the forces of Ra, of evil, and the strengthening of Tov, of good, and it's, and it's getting that much more powerful. And God presenting himself, availing himself, connecting himself, to the creation, that we 
become fully connected to him and we become more shalem through more complete more perfected through his perfection no. and a a drawing of those influences that gives this elevation to the creations kashira mistarech according to the amount that is needed and granting to us this radiance this holiness this this uh, illumination according to the amount that it needs to be wow all that from that pasuk of shema that we say you know the gemara says that tfila prayer are dvarim aondim berumo shel olam they are things that stand at the height of the world and people are dismissive of it we treat it lightly we don't realize the potency and i believe the nevesh Chaim says that when we say that it stands meaning that is the point which connects the two worlds that's at the height of this world meaning that is the connect that's the portal that is the connect point between this world the physical world and the spiritual world rabbi yes you know that i play soccer every sunday okay all right so i played soccer in irvine in california and before the game i used to collect the team and i used to give them advatoa to the team and that gave us the power to win the other team right so uh -huh. Therefore, I became the rabbi of the team. Meanwhile, I moved to Florida. So now, there could be bad weather in California or whatever. They, I'm still part of the, of the, of the uh, group, right? So when they need anything, they call on me to talk to God to get good weather. <laughs> <laughs> because they know that when I talk to God, it's a local call and they listen. So... This is what this, you know. That's good. We should let them know that they also have the same communication lines. So I'm it's telling it's you, good. Me, they, they should me, certainly canvas your support, but they should also make their own calls. No, but the point is that one has to believe that when you talk to the Almighty, He is a father. If you, if a child, was there any case in your life, Rabbi, when your child asked you for something and you said no and you wouldn't do it for him? no way how could the father not say yes to to his son and we are the children of our almighty of course he's going to say to 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 make us is the lead over is the lead listening yes i am listening good <laughs> so of course he's going to do what's best for us yes and it's sometimes he's going to be what we think is best for us what we're asking for but of right. course, he's always going to do what's best for us. Of right. course. You know, when you go to a surgery, the first thing that surgeon does is cut you open in order to, to, good, to do good for you. But he first hurt you. He cuts you open to fix you. Of course. Uh -huh. You know, yeah. and that's what we go through. You know? Uh, no. Anyway. Oh, look who's here. Hey, hey, you. Hey. Who's here? Nice. Let's just start this next paragraph. I need to run into Mara, my friends. Okay. Paragraph Zion. Then we'll start again here next week. To this tremendous, tremendous tikkun. The, 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 the influences and the, and, the, and the loftiness and the corrections, the rectification. There's also Yitchaber that joins together with it another tikkun. Buanichlal, that's included the Shevach Shomracharzeh in the praise that is stated afterwards. The Hainu, which is Baruch Shem Kavod Malchuto Leolam Vaed. Right? That's what we say afterwards. And we say that in a quiet undertone. 
וזה, כי הנה כבר ביארנו, שכלל כל השפעות יתברך והערותיו הם עניינים נמשכים מסיבות שונות. All these different influences and illuminations come down through different pathways. וכולם נשרשים ונטלים, but they are all rooted and dependent, ביחודו יתברך, in Hashem's oneness of שלמות אמיתי, and Hashem's perfection. בני הנבראים מתנהגים בגלגולים שונים, and we go through these different gilgolim, these, dif- these different uh, sequences, these different events, these different, he calls it these various chains of events. Right? Which is all uh, based on these different influences and their causes and what we can bring about. The soap hakolhu, and the ultimate point that we're all getting to is sheyagil hishtalem v'shleimuta amiti. That will reach the point of this true shleimut, this true perfection. Let's just try to finish this paragraph, and I'll run into that. I think we have enough time. Kiulam gazra chavhal, you know, the God's wisdom decree shlo yimashech lo yegi ashtalem lebruim that we will not reach this shleimut. Elai de kol mitzvot ha'ela only through all of these avenues, all of these paths, all of these situations. The Acher Kol Gilgulim and all of their sequences in Gilgulim Vahinu Biota Pula Vashlita Li Yichud Nitla Kol Bo When Odat Kol Hashpaot She'enon El Anfei Yichud We recognize that everything that's taking place, all the Hashpa, all the situations are all branches of that Yichud Vaderech La Gia Brumei Lav and they're all pathways through which we can get to Him Vihinei Biota Kavanah Vatak Mishon Le Tolkol Biyichud Shkomosh Zecharnu being the Kavanah, that first Pasuk is saying everything is hinging, is dependent, is hanging. Be Yichud, on that oneness of His, like we said. Nimsa kol hashpot nitlot bazeh. That all of the influences that flow down are also all emanating from there. Va'akol shav, and everything then returns. El inyan ha'shleimut, to bring about this shleimut amiti that we shezacharnu, that we have uh, mentioned. And next week we'll see how this is going to then apply to the Baruch Shein Kavod Malchutoli along the end and why it is said quietly and not said out loud. I need to run to davening, so I'm going to sign off, my friends. Good night. Good seeing everybody. Welcome back, Uzi. Thank you, Rabbi. God bless you.